Alright, so after a little bit of welding, I've uh, decided to take some video and take a break. So this is my first weld. Let's see if it'll auto focus. Yeah, there we go. Uh, on the frame, it was my first weld of the day. Um, it was the first time welding with this. Actually, no, this is the second weld. Um, but it had a big, the first one with a bigger gap. So I have to make two passes. It's flux core, so it's a little messy to begin with. And then I'm an amateur, so it's even a little more messy. This was actually my first weld on this steel. After talking with a friend of mine, I was concerned it wasn't steel. And I looked up on the uh, on it, the internet what I might could do to tell if it was steel or aluminum. And then I was like, oh shit, duh. You just put a magnet on it. So thankfully it turned out to be steel. There's another weld. But you know, it's only because I'm a newbie I'm actually recording video of my welds. And then this was the last one on the, uh, the frame. This actually looks pretty good, you know, compared to all the other ones. And uh, the fact that it's flux core and whatnot. Now, I wasn't sure if this cross beam here would be in the right place. Let me get it focused. Um, wasn't sure if it'd be in the right place or not. So I put it uh, about a half inch forward of um, probably where it needs to be. I only need the width of a marker right there. So you can see my finger. It's almost two fingers worth. Two that way. And uh, that could be a little bit of wiggle room for the batteries. Um, which is good because I'd rather it be too big than have to grind it off and, and uh, put it back on. But it's only held in with three, uh, with a couple tacks, just in case. Let's see if I can get it focused. Yeah, you should be able to see them there. So, yeah, it's only held in on a couple sides. But I was, uh, I was banging on it and pulling on it. Three tacks is, is good enough for temporary work. And if it turns out to be a good spot, well, I'll just go right over those three. It does not want to focus right there. Oh, there we go. So if it turns out that's a good spot, I'll just keep on trucking. I'll weld up in there. And weld up in here and be a welded fool. One of the reasons for these welds up top that I was showing off is the, the, the frame is mostly welded together, but there were a couple welds that weren't made. And since this is going to be a lot more vibrational than uh, the original design, I figured I'd fill in all the holes. Well, not the holes but the uh, the gaps in the frame and uh, that's pretty much it so far you can see uh, you can see without being attached kinda looks goofy oh I found the uh, oh yeah I didn't say what the hell this was for so before I go on this is gonna go here Let's see, it's not going to stay. This is going to go here to some degree. And yeah, there, there is a little bit of a gap there. Um, about the width of one or two washers and whatnot. Or, you know, the weld or whatever. Um, it's going to go there just because I cut the, uh, the frame a little shorter than I'd like. It's The end of it's going to be right about here. And that only gives me a few inches of surface area. I'm going to increase it by six more inches and you know I want to bolt Ooh. <laughs> yeah I need to upgrade my gloves. Anyhow I want to uh, give, give more surface area for it to um, to stick to. I'll show you why I made that comment. See right there? Got a blister. 
don't think I have any others. Yep, just the one. Some burning ember or slag must have got me. So yeah, I'm going to make another one of these and um, put, put it over here. I guess it's good it sings like that. Maybe it did a halfway decent weld. So yeah, I want to bolt it to this part. I want to bolt it to this because it's really long. I mean, it would come out to probably that I-beam with the drill is next to. And that's really long. It won't fit in a car, although not to say this will, but... I just want to make it, you know, where it'll come apart. I might end up welding it together just because the the uh, this stuff is so hard to drill through. It is ridiculously hard to drill through. <coughs> I found some good stuff that's not going to be ridiculously hard to drill through. This stuff here, it came off um, some kind of server, whatever. It's a slide out rack. This seems to be regular steel, and this this is sturdy enough yet flexible enough that it'll be fine to suspend the deck. So I'm going to start with this. If I need to, I'll beef it up. Or even just uh, double it up. Because I was originally going to do the uh, another piece of angle from the bed frame. But since that shit is so hard to drill through, and I don't have a cutting torch, and roll with this.